Hello, my name is Josh Blanc at Clay Square to Infinity, and today we're going to be working on grouting some tile boards and showing you how the process works. So here we go. So what we did is we made a whole bunch of design boards to show people exactly some of the designs that we wanted to play with to show them different concepts. So these today don't have the grout in them, and so we are going to do that. So as you can see over here, there are a couple different things we have is the grout and a little Spider-Man guy on the side for a mascot. And so we have a bowl to mix some water and grout together. And finally we have a drill with a nice little cool spinner deal on it. Um, and we'll start that process and get right back to you. We're working on the medievals that are cut up as in they are relief tile, the bas relief. And as you can see over here, we put a uh, painter's tape on top of them to cover it up so the grout doesn't get in there. So I cut little strips and I add them to the top of the tile. And as you can see, they're really this dimensional. And this little area in here, when the grout gets in there, it gets really hard to clean out. So we take the painter's tape and go over the top of it and finish it off. And so when we grout a little while, we'll be able to grout over the top of everything and peel off the tape from there. A little uh, paper on the back of the boards because it's going to be display boards. We've got all the tiles set. We've got grout that we've mixed up uh, and a trowel, that are not trowel, a rubber float. Um, and so in general, all we're going to do is we're going to put it on and push it in there and clean off everything and then uh, make it look nice again and ready to go. So it's a pretty simple deal. We only have about 20-30 minutes of time to work with it uh, before the grout actually starts to set up. So we're just going to get some on there. We don't need to go crazy, but we want to fill in all the little edges of where the grout in between the tiles with the grout. And I usually don't use the, the rubber float for very much. Mostly it has to do with the hand just because they're small projects, not like a big project like your kitchen backsplash or a fireplace, then you would use the rubber float a lot more and not your hand. But since this is just a small board and we have lots of little pieces, we'll go in here and just sort of rub it in and get it in all the little areas that fill in the gaps between the tiles. And once we get all of that done, we'll take some paper towels and rub it all off and try to get all the grout out of the space that's on the top. And we'll just sort of see all of it in there. So I'm just trying to get all those areas here. And now I'm going to take a paper towel and just start rubbing that off. Let's see, just, it'll take a couple passes with a couple different pieces of paper towel until we get what we want. And you can sort of see the tiles coming out. We're just trying to make sure that also as I'm rubbing it in that the, I'm getting the grout really pushed in well into the actual tile and cleaning it up and making it look really professional like it would look like in your house and so we go through a couple different pieces of just regular towel paper towels that you would get and uh, just keep going now you can start to see the color of the tile come back out we did put a a, a sealer on these tiles because they're matte tiles to so try to get the grout likes to stain or haze is what I would call it. Uh, and so it takes quite a few passes to clean up the matte colored glazes. So, but you're starting to get a sense of this. And like I said, we have about 30 minutes to work with it. So we'll do a pass of these and then we'll come back and we'll keep doing passes over this and try to clean it up and make sure we don't miss any areas. You can sort of see how they sort of get a little strange in there. So we want to clean them up and make them look good. And then, we don't really add very much water, maybe a little bit here and there to clean the tile. Because if you add water to the tile or to the grout, it will actually weaken the tile or the grout. The tiles are totally fine with water. So there's our first amount. And so we're in good shape at this point. And just like you saw at the beginning, now we're, we're looking good. It looks all finished. And then so after this, we'll take off the tape and it will look like a really nice design for it. So now the tile is, I've finished the grouting process, but there's a hazing effect. And if you come right up there, so I'm gonna start cleaning it out a little bit here. And you can sort of see some of that dust coming off of it. And so we're just trying to get that last bit of dust off of these things. And it'll take a couple passes to try to get that. I have another one here. You can sort of see that hazing. And so now we're just sort of cleaning it up. 
and the glossy ones are a lot easier to clean out than the matte ones. And so it just gets more beautiful and more beautiful as we go. And then we can actually get all those colors to come through and not see the gray, the, the hazing effect actually happen. So it's pretty minimal at this point, but we just keep doing passes and passes until we get closer and closer to what we want. And it'll usually take about maybe three or four passes before we're there. Okay. And we'll, and we'll go from there. So we had done earlier, we had made the tape onto the bas relief tiles and to now we've grouted the piece. And as we've done that, we did the grouting around the edges. So now we're gonna peel the tape off of each one of those. And you can see the tile is in really nice shape. It doesn't have the grout in there. And then you just sort of clean off the tile. And then we have a little bit of grout to sort of play with, but not a huge amount. And then so this one here has all of that. Now we have a little bit of work to do, but now it's a lot easier to go in and just sort of clean up the small edges. And I forgot my little dental tools, but now I can just sort of clean it up really easy and it still looks fabulous at that point. Because otherwise it sticks in those little areas and it's just not as nice as we'd like it to be. So, and it just saves time and you, then you don't have to invent new swear words, which is really important. Okay, so now you can sort of see, you get right up close to that and you'll be able to see the details of the edging that goes on there. And just like we saw earlier, now the grout is in perfect shape around it. And when it all dries and it's hard, because grout is basically cement. So it will be really in there. And then the tile looks fabulous from there. And we're ready to go. There you go. All right, so I finished grouting all of the, the boards. And so there's the nice finished piece. And we had it all taped up. We cleaned it all up from the back. And so all these pieces are all cleaned up. And there might be some stuff here and there. And we just sort of make sure all the hazing. So just like you saw originally, if you remember the pieces that were all of the grouts all around the edges are nice and it's nice and cleaned up and it looks beautiful again and so we'll be able to put this on our wall and be able to have it finished up there you go with the grouted finished pieces and now they look like they would be installed in your home